Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to another Planet Zoo update video. Now, yes, we have a lot of awesome stuff regarding the Europe pack today, and I can't wait to jump into all this wonderful little news with you. So, of course, today the beautiful fire salamander just got revealed, so it does seem like they're going in order of the story that we were told. So, we're going to be seeing the lynx, then the salamander, of course, which is already revealed, then I believe tomorrow we should be seeing the fallow deer and then the badger and then the ibex. So I think that's going to be our little bit of, you know, our little relaying onto the story. But look at this guy. Oh my gosh. So I love amphibians, guys. Amphibians are some of my favorites. And finally getting a salamander is so freaking spectacular. I'm so excited to see how their habitat's going to come out. Again, I really do hope that they have kind of, you know, a little bit more of a temperate kind of look to their habitat. That's at least what I'm expecting from them. But moving on from there, we have a couple of other things to get into. You guys already see that I covered these. Not covered, but looked at them yesterday. We have a lot of awesome stuff in this picture as well. So they revealed the gondola pieces. And in addition to the gondolas, we can also see a lot of different new pieces as well. We can definitely see a lot of these come into play with the bridge over here. We can see all this lovely new brick that looks pretty good um we also see these nice concrete pieces over there for the bridges that's going to be really nice as well and look at these new wood pieces i believe these are all going to be completely new and from the looks of it it looks like these are all going to be individual pieces so that may be pretty good other like either that or they're the in-game planet zoo ones anyway i'm just very excited to see these pieces so these are those little jetty posts and i'm so excited to start to use these because these little tips i really hope that we're able to separate like this part from this part because that would come in absolutely clutch from the looks of it it seems like these all are the same size but the blue ones and the red ones uh we can definitely see the same texture on these so they're definitely going to be flexi color I'm not sure about the caps of those poles though, so that's gonna be very interesting to see how that comes out. Uh, also, back here, we can see some stuff over here. Now, some of the people in Bro Nation have pointed this out. I'm not sure if this is gonna be like anti-pigeon kind of material, or if it's gonna be more like tinsel, kind of like, you know, that Christmas decoration that you guys put up. Either way, it's going to be really interesting to see how that all comes out. And just the general vibes of all of us, I'm so excited to see. And you know what? I don't think anyone has really touched upon this concrete color, or rather this limestone color. That is slightly different from the one that we have in-game, I want to say. So maybe, hopefully, knock on wood, we will get a flexi color variant of the limestone in-game with like all of these because they're wonderful pieces but the only problem i have with them is that they're not flexi color but i'm not sure maybe we could see a lot of stuff on that going forward i'm not sure if these are new pieces as well i think they actually might be they remind me a lot of the himalayan flags but they seem way too ornate well not ornate but way too organized to actually be those so that's going to be very interesting to see as well as our little lynx fellow. Oh my gosh, look at this. So the lynx is looking absolutely beautiful. Obviously, if you guys might have already seen it, it does use the jaguar rig, which people and modders have figured out because we're very accustomed to the rigs and all that jazz. But look at this. It, she looks so beautiful. Oh my gosh, and look at the little town behind there and all this stuff. I believe Planet Zoo Blogger pointed out that these chimneys are not the same chimneys that we have in game so these are going to probably be new pieces and maybe these shutters i'm not really sure but what i really care about are the new plants and we can see a lot of those come into play right over there so that is pretty much all i have to say over here that's i just wanted to like go through all these pictures and point out a lot more of the smaller things obviously we could still go back and watch the trailer it is a little bit low quality for me so i'm actually gonna look up europe dlc trailer yes we're gonna check this out so we could actually look at all this lovely new scenery that we missed in the last time around obviously this seems to be one big piece not really a new ride type it seems like guests are entering from that 
and you can kind of see the guest entrance right there, I believe. But there is a lot of awesome stuff, so that's the new brick set right over there. Not really brick, but it's more like, you know, flagstone or something. Moving on from there, we have a lot of awesome new pieces as well. These right in here. I'm not sure what those are going to be for, but maybe we can get some more pipes. Of course, we have the badger signs that we mentioned before. Those are going to be cool. Not too many people are talking about this new path, but I think this is going to be the most useful path going forward. It is insane. Yes, there's a badger that people pointed out from before. It is looking mighty small and tiny. There's another food truck right over there. But what I care more about are these down here. These are some of the decals that people are going to use all over the place of course we already have some moss in game which i've been using and i think i will prefer those in most cases just because they have a lot more 3d effect with them but moving forward we have a lot of more awesome things as well i love the tutor style in here and what a lot of people aren't really mentioning either is this that's the new brick decal so that's going to be really awesome to see i'm so excited for all of this guys i'm wait hold on Oh yeah, so they actually base the story off of like all these lovely little, I don't know what you would call these paintings, I guess, the stained glass. So the Lynx does have, not the Lynx, the Ibex does have its trusty little violin. Salamander has whatever that is, I want to say bagpipes or a Mizwad, I'm not really sure. But, oh my gosh, you guys better be so excited. I think that is pretty much it though. I know a lot of people in Bro Nation have been, like, dissecting the heck out of this, but I don't know. We'll definitely see a lot more going forward. I'm very excited to see what the Europe Pack is going to bring. I love the Salamander so much. I hope you guys do, too, because exhibit animals don't get enough love. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Take care, and have the most wonderful of wonderful days. Bye-bye now.